Hey, what's up? You're watching an Edge Play video with me, Adam Burt, and I am checking out Turbo Golf Racing. Yeah, we're going to play some golf with some rocket-powered cars. Uh, I'm jumping straight into a match here. This is very near the beginning of the game in terms of like progression. Like I've not really unlocked anything yet. Um, just been jumping into this on Game Pass for the Xbox Series X, and also available on you know other platforms like Xbox Series S and PC as well. Um, here we go. So the game, the game, I have played a couple of rounds just to familiarize myself, is to hit your ball. You can't hit anyone else's ball, I've tried. Uh, hit your ball along the course and get to the end. Uh, in like It's like a race, basically, so it doesn't really matter how many times you hit it. It only matters whether your ball is first in the hole. And you'll see there's lots of like boost pads and like Mario Kart-style items, like missiles and boosts and things that you can unlock as well. Oh, oh no. Yeah, get in there. Um... I mean, the first thing you'll think is, is this Rocket League? And I definitely understand where you're coming from, because the ball looks similar, and the cars look a bit similar. It's got that Rocket League aesthetic, I would say, that kind of bright, bold, colourful futurism, uh, with the kind of, you know, Hot Wheels-esque cars. Um, it's got some of its own style as well, I think. It's definitely taken some inspiration from Rocket League. I think there's no, no denying the influence of Rocket League on this idea and on the uh, on the visual style as well. Got myself a little shield. Doing quite well here. We're in second place, uh, which is pretty good going. See those rings in the air that I totally just missed hitting? If you get those, they like blast your ball further onwards in the right direction, so it's quite handy to get them if you can. And that was a terrible hit. I find it really difficult to hit the ball in the right direction, or like the right direction is quite easy, but like being specific about... Yeah, take that missile. Uh, quite specific about um, like the angle of like you know putting a spin on it or going slightly to the left or slightly to the right. It's really really difficult. Um, I mean, I'm near the beginning of the game, so I've not played loads. Maybe it's one of those like easy to start, hard to master things, and you get really good at it. But I've been finding it tough, uh, which you wouldn't know from me coming first uh, in this first opening round, which I'm very happy about. Uh, we can see some other players here finishing off the hole while we wait. Um, here's, here's this dude. He's got less than 10 seconds. Go on. Oh, I, think he's, I think he's ruined it. Yeah, he's been hit by a missile as well. Popped his shield too late. Ah, oh, He must be annoyed because I would be if I was him. Uh, each match is three holes and then you get this kind of like scoring system. I get eight points for coming first, and then we move on to the second hole, and at the end it's whoever's got the most overall points wins. So you don't actually have to like necessarily get a, the, the, the hole at first every time. You can come second or third and we'll have enough points to win a match overall without winning any of the individual holes. Now this course looks fun. Let's see how we get on. This is Corner Madness. Um, the other thing here that I think is slightly different to Rocket League is there's like little quirks or little things you can do with the car um, that maybe you, well, oh there you go, there's one of those ring things in action, that's quite a handy demonstration that I didn't mean to do. <laughs> um, but you can kind of do like mid-air little dashes, like course corrections and stuff with the car, there's like quite a lot of, oh, oh dear, okay the ball's gone out of bounds, which is not, not good. Uh, you're going to get reset back here, which is going to put us quite far back. Um, yeah, and they just seem like, whenever you're in the loading screen, it's like, did you know the car can do this? And I'm like, you know what, I didn't know the car could do that. So pay attention to the loading screen if you want some, uh, oh, no! Oh, this, this is why, this is, I get quite angry at this game as well, because this is, you know, there's one of those little uh, tricks, didn't work that time at all. It's a little kind of mid-air dash to try and correct it, and it went totally the wrong way. Um... Yeah, hitting out of bounds, or missing the ball, or missing the hole by like a fraction. Especially because it's a race and the pressure is on at all times. It's really, really frustrating. Oh, okay, what's going on here? Where's my ball gone? Where's my ball? Oh, it's down here, okay. Um, this is not going as well as that first hole at all. But we're quite near the front still, like no one's, uh, no one's finished it. And the hole is right here. So let's see if we can 
Get a good finish. No, no! There we go. Yes. Okay. Two firsts in the bag. I mean, I'm feeling pretty smug right now, because in my practice runs, I was like, <laughs> this is going to be a video of me being not very good at, uh, at turbo golf racing. But turns out I have some skill. Just uh, maybe I need to be streaming at all times, you know? I need to be recording my incredible feats for everyone to enjoy on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, this guy's having a nightmare. This is what happens to me usually. Like I'm like trying to like dribble it into the hole, and I'm like just can't get the quite right angle on it. Someone else here is running out of time, and he's missed the ball again. So annoying when you miss the ball. It's literally infuriating. That, um, that last round puts us in quite a strong position for this match. Uh, yeah, two firsts. If I do well here, this could be a gold medal finish. Let's get going. Big poppers out in front. We've got Psycho to the right. I love the uh, gamer tags you see on Xbox Live. Always entertaining. <laughs> They're like the worst Twitter usernames, all in one place. Oh no, no, don't bounce off the course, no. Okay. Remember when I was like, oh, I might win this match? It turns out that was overconfidence because I am not capable of keeping the ball on. The... God, come on. There we go. I'm not capable of hitting the ball or of keeping it on the course or of nearly hitting a rock. Um, don't, don't you dare go off the course. No. <laughs> okay, well I'm glad you're getting you're getting the full spectrum of turbo golf racing experience here. Where you've seen me do well and you've also seen me struggle with fundamental basics. <coughs> oh, this is fun. We've got like a little uh this like takes you up to a lo another level. So if we hit the ball into the right bit, it's going to fly up. There we go. And the car can also if I drive it incorrectly can also fly up. Oh, what? I mean, I don't know. That was, was that my fault? I think the game just didn't make me fly right correctly there. Like, I'm not controlling that flight. Oh, the, the end's right here. Okay, we could be back in business here. Go on, go on, go on! Oh, just got second rather than first. Psycho was in there. Less than a second ahead of me. Wow. I think that's going to mean an overall win for me, though, because I'm pretty sure my points total is going to be unassailable. Uh, get some more spectatoring going. Here's Crash Lab. He could get fifth. He's got fifth. Congratulations, Crash Lab. Big Popper is about to time out. Sorry, Big Popper. It's not your day. But it is mine, because that is a win. And this is Turbo Golf Racing. Like I say, available on the Xbox and on PC. It's on Game Pass, so you can check this out. It's got the kind of all the stuff you'd expect in terms of like leveling up and unlocking cosmetics for your car and different wheels and things a la Rocket League. Uh, but yeah, if you like this, give it a try. And we'll see you next time. Take care.